wouldn't go home without him. I just wouldn't. I would not go home without him. <laughs> a family dog shot by a Rogers County deputy recovering from surgery this evening. It's an update to a story we first brought you yesterday. Thanks for joining us here on this Friday at 6. I'm Brian Sanders. And I'm Carol Larson. Two Works Two reporter Darcy Jackson brings us an update on Bruno and where the investigation goes from here. Darcy. Karen, Brian, Bruno's family tells us, unfortunately, the surgeon did have to amputate Bruno's leg this afternoon. The bullet did too much damage for, the, for them to be able to save it. Now, they say that they're hopeful about Bruno's prognosis. But meanwhile, Rogers County Sheriff Scott Walton says he stands by his deputy. That this is the first day he's whacked. As Bruno headed into life-saving surgery, his family stayed optimistic. In the past 24 hours, his story has caught the eye of thousands online. I'm talking Oklahoma, Colorado, Texas, Arkansas, Georgia, just warm wishes and kindness and sweet thoughts and concerns. And The operation was invasive. Bruno's shoulder was shattered and in pieces. There's not enough bone left to hold it together. Bruno was found by his family bleeding from a gunshot wound on their porch. A Rogers County deputy left a note saying he shot him after, he says, Bruno attacked. Since we first aired the story, Sheriff Scott Walton says his agency has been hit with hateful phone calls, even threats. He certainly believes that he brought the sheriff's office under a negative light. And uh, my instruction to him, he did not. Walton says his deputy, who was investigating shots into a nearby home, did nothing wrong by driving onto Lehman's property. Lehman says Bruno did nothing wrong by protecting her property and that he didn't bite the deputy. But Walton described the dog as aggressive. He says the safety of his officers is something he takes seriously. If it gets to the point uh, where it's expected that a law enforcement officer gets out of his vehicle and can't take any action to protect his own safety from getting mauled by a dog, then I think we're in the wrong business. Meanwhile, he's losing his leg, but Bruno's future otherwise looks bright, and that's what makes Layman grateful. He gets to come home. He, at the end of the day, leg or no leg, he will get to come home. That's the silver lining. Now, Bruno is in recovery tonight. He'll stay here at this animal hospital for a few more days. Layman is still working on filing that claim with Rogers County. Meanwhile, Sh Rogers County Sheriff's Office says this entire incident, including that original shots fire call, is still under investigation. In Jinx, Darcy Jackson, two works for you.